We are live. Welcome everyone to Women in Ministry on the Move. I'm your host, Pashawn Allen. And of course, I have the phenomenal Dr. Roberta Houski here with me. We're going to open up and uh, get ready to have this awesome interview with the woman of God as she talks to us about the women millionaire mindset sisterhood and their huge celebration that is happening this Friday. Let's go. to Women in Ministry on the Move. I'm Pashawn Allen, and I have the powerful, the beautiful woman of God, Dr. Roberta Halski, here with me, and we are going to be talking about the millionaire, ha, huh, let me get it right, the millionaire mindset sisterhood, yes, and the huge celebration that is kicking off on this Friday. Mm-hmm. Welcome, Dr. Roberta Halski, again. Thank you for doing an interview with me, and I congratulate you on five years of excellence, of just man, celebrating and passing on and teaching generational wealth and breaking the curse of poverty. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to open up in prayer a little bit. Father God, we bless you. We thank you for this interview in the name of Jesus. God, thank you. Oh God, let everything be said decently in order. Oh God. And I thank you right now that seeds will be sown. Oh God, to change mindsets, to come out of poverty, to want to come out of poverty. There are people who've been crying out out, tired of living paycheck to paycheck, wanting to pass on generational wealth to their children, oh God. It is ordained by you. It is one of your principles, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you continue to use Dr. Roberta and her staff and her team, oh God, to uplift your people and to pass on, to bless them now, oh God, in their time and to pass on generational wealth and blessings, oh God, and break generational poverty and curses. And we give you all the glory, the honor and praise. We repent for any sins, anything done or said, oh God, that was contrary to you, your heart and your will. We repent right now and we thank you, God. This is your business. This is your podcast. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Dr. Roberta, I am, I just want you to know, I wasn't hey, playing. You got my book. <laughs> I wasn't playing. I said, Lord, my God, this is powerful. So thank you so much. Uh, let me just tell you all for uh, everyone who's listening. Okay. I got comments. Let me see. <laughs> Amen. Oh, they said, okay, you look beautiful, Dr. Roberta, as oh, usual. Okay. Thank they you. say hello, everybody, and they tagging people. Thank you, guys. Yeah, tell them to tag. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, yeah, yeah, tag some more those people. Are, those are my millionaire mindset sisters. <laughs> Shout out to my sisterhood. They represent. I love them. <laughs> they are ready. Yes, please share. You know, um, oh, yeah. Dr. Roberta, let me just, I want to uh, tell the people about you guys, everybody that's listening. Uh, she has a huge story of poverty. Uh, breaking the poverty curse in her life, how God has used her to do that. Mm -hmm. And she's been recognized by U.S. Senators, uh, the U.S. Congresswoman Rosa uh, DeLauro, State of uh, Comptroller Kevin Limbo, just so many. In 2004, Dr. Roberta, you took a leap of faith and you left your, I like the way you say it, your good job. In the Bronx, New York, where you managed a $56 million budget to fulfill your dream of investing in your own community and started your first real estate business in your basement with your sister, Tamika. Hey, Tamika. (laughs) You know, since then, you have created four other companies of real estate. And you train, you invest, you do business development and self and mindset development that help create streams of income for people all over the world, the country. We're going we're gonna to talk about the rise of Kenya. Woo-hoo! 
whoop, uh, hallelujah. And uh, also in 2017, April 15, congratulations, April 15, 2017, you established the Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood, an international faith-based sisterhood devoted to breaking the curse of poverty over the lives and the lives of their loved ones. And your sisterhood exemplifies the power of unity, loyalty, and the power of group economics. So God bless you, Dr. Roberta, and all that you're doing in you. uh, changing lives and impacting lives for the kingdom of God. So talk to us about, before we get into uh, the big old celebration that is happening, it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's just, the I feel the anticipation. And I'm like, <laughs> man. Uh -huh. Listen, I'm I'm control I'm I'm keeping it all in right now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I know hi Tanya. I wanted to shout to y'all, Tanya oh. Randall. Uh, she is super excited as well. And talk to me about exactly what the Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood is. All right, so the Sisterhood um, Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood is a faith-based sisterhood devoted to breaking what we call the poverty curse. Mm -hmm. Over our lives and the lives of our loved ones, we exemplify the power of unity, the power of loyalty, and utilizing that power of group economics. Um, we're in constant pursuit of our, our divine purpose, our divine passions that create our divine prosperity. We're about legacy building. Um, to sum it up, if you can um, imagine where many people are familiar with sororities, um, and there's a lot of amazing sororities out there, let's say, um, let's look at the sisterhood in that realm, minus Greek plus God and investing. <laughs> so it's an equation. <laughs> yes. This is a, and we're international um, now. And um, and so that we are really serious about um, women working in unity. I, I believe that that phase or that time where women were backstabbers and um, crabs in a barrel mentality, there's a lot of them still out there, but there's a lot of us out there that said, you know what? We understand that we're more powerful together. Yes. And we understand that your purpose is entwined with my purpose. And in order for me to get to where God has for me to be, I need to make you help you get to where you need to be. And we're all entwined in this together. There's supernatural power of unity. And so we're being intentional about that within this millionaire mindset sisterhood um, with the intention to break the poverty curse and create a life of abundance, not just for ourselves, but for our children's children. If you don't want to be a part of something like that, you need to check your pulse. <laughs> I mean, that is, I mean, and it's all biblical. It's all faith-based. It's all faith-based. And I base it off of my life. It's, it's, it's off of what I know worked for me. That's it. And if you read the book, I don't know if you read it yet, but you'll- I'm still you, digging in, but I, yes, ma'am, I have. Yes, ma'am, I have. She's talking about this, y'all. <laughs> Yes, it's so wonderful. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. And you did, you went through the process. Mm -hmm. You did the work, you know, and, and God poured into you. And not only are you gifted, you're anointed for this. Mm -hmm. Your, your misery became your ministry. Yes. As we say in the sisterhood, our pain becomes our power. And that's mm -hmm. how we look at it. That the pain that happens in our life becomes the power that God uses for us to help other people. So a lot of times we go through things in life, like most of the times I can say the things that I went through in life now that I look back at it is like, you know what? I understood who I had to become. And yeah. I went through so much. And as you read the book, Poverty Curse Broken and Roberta Hosky's story, you'll be able to identify on multiple levels, multiple levels. And, and when I'm going through what I was going through, I was like, God, why is it so much? Yeah. But I realized later in life is that, um, when you are in a position of leadership is that you become a more powerful leader if you can identify you That's can right. lead you can empathize you understand when you can identify so when people look at the roberta hosky story um seeing i was on welfare seeing at one point i was homeless i was a homeless teenager um mm -hmm. seeing the abuse seeing the struggle seeing the abandonment and all of these things that have happened that mo that's happened to a lot of us, but we don't want to make light of it, right? It's something that we put underneath the rug and we try to act like these things didn't happen to us. But those things I found in there in that pain became the power. And people are attracted to people who are real and authentic. Authentic. Yeah. Yeah. And if they can if they're touched 
that's first of all, that's why Leandria Johnson is so effective and yeah. so powerful because she's so raw. She's so real. She let you see her flaws, her hurts, her yeah. pain. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that is why, you know, we try to churchify it. No, no. People want to know that they can touch you. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus is touched with our our pain, you know, our sorrow, and he can relate to it, you know, because he was fully God and fully man. Yes. And so um, I just love how, uh oh, we got another, who is that? <laughs> That's right. Go here. Someone's <laughs> <going here. laughs> listen, my, my tribe, my sisterhood is deep. They, I love they them. Are on it. They are on it. Yes. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Yes. I love them. Oh, Amen. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I, I just praise God for you. Okay. So mm -hmm. I just, this need to be a movie. I just want to shout that out. You know, um, you're not the first person to say that. And the first person who said that, I was like, shh, don't say anything. But now it's almost public. I do have a contract um, on that book and it is um, having a screenplay written as we speak. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tell me where I need to audition. I don't care. <laughs> what? I'm gonna audition for myself. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna play a role in it. I'm not. Um, but it it is, um, in a screenplay. Um, being put in a screenplay as we speak. It's under contract. So yes, yeah. That's wonderful. Okay, so how can uh, uh more women join the millionaire? mindset sisterhood if they're interested in doing that okay so um the website is mmsisterhood.com mmsisterhood.com you can go to the website and go under apply and then you can apply again you can apply from anywhere in the united states um okay. and you can what i urge you to do is to when you write when you apply you have to put your name your information your contact but then there's also a little section where we um, we have to put a uh, brief description on why you want to join the sisterhood. Now, you cannot just say, I want to make money. So I just want you to know, because we have people that apply and they're like, oh, I want to make money with them. I want to invest in these houses with them. Um, that's not, that's going to get a denial. So what we, even though we want you to make money, like we're going to do that. It's just that you have to have, sis you have to have God first, sisterhood, and then we talk about money. So yes. look at all of those things. The membership committee will look at your um, applications. They will um, do backgrounds on you. So we just say, tell the truth. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. We don't, we, you know, tell the truth. And then membership will process you and um, allow you to go forward. Should your application be chosen to go for it within the sisterhood? Um, we are about to have our induction actually this friday for the fold that's going in on yes. this friday then we're opening it back up so anyone that applies right now will be looking at the next induction that will be in about six months or so okay okay so let's just get into this uh I wanted to add, I listened to your beautiful, that was a powerful interview you did with Malik Yoba. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's and, my guy. That's my guy. Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah. I like when you said, when he said, and you highlighted it, he said the first real estate you hold is in your mind. In your mind. Is in your mind. That's your property. It's valuable. It's yeah. valuable. And I always say the best investment you can ever make is into your own intellectual property. Because when you have it in your mind, no one can ever take it from you. You, you know, even like to business owners, I said, you, you know, you could take my business and, and, and break it down today, but I'll build it up tomorrow because it's here. Yes. And so that's powerful. When If you learn how to create wealth, it's here. Yes. Right? If you learn how to um, break poverty, it's here. If you if you know the recipe to how to make an a amazing cake, it's here. Like it's that's right. The power is in your mind. Yeah, yeah, and so as a man thinketh in his heart, so, so is he. But you know what? That's one of my favorite scriptures, um, Pashan. But I and I'm I'm gonna just say a little bit more about that because I, a lot of people quote that scripture, but they don't understand the power behind it. No, say it. As, right a, as a man thinketh, so is he. So if you want to know what you're thinking about, what have you produced? Mm. That is what you're thinking about because that's who you are right so if you're not happy with who you are then you probably got some unpleasant thoughts going on about yourself 
Mm-hmm. Because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. What are you thinking about yourself? What are you thinking about your wealth? What are you thinking about who you are? Yeah, nice. What are you uh-huh. thinking about your value? Yes. Most of us self-sabotage ourselves. Yes. Because of the power that God gave us to choose. Mm-hmm. He gave us a, a, the power to choose. We're not like a dog where we're going to just go keep going to to get water out of the dog bowl, bowl or wait for someone to go walk us. We're not not the little mouse is going to be running around or uh, a hamster on a wheel. We got the ability to choose. Yes. It's only creation. And that starts with as a think, as we think, as yes. we think. So, yeah, that's powerful. So- it is powerful. And then you also talked about... Um- surrounding yourself with the right energy and the right people mm-hmm. and people who have the right mindset, you know? So if AKA. you're thinking, sabotaging yourself, who do you have around you too? Are they building you up? Go ahead talk about that. Well, that's the purpose of sisterhood. So yeah. when the sisterhood was created, um, you know, it was created to create an environment conducive for success. That's good. And and, and that was the thought, one of the thought processes is that many people um, don't have an environment where they're safe with their mm-hmm. ideas. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> the sisterhood was created, you know, for that and to keep that environment, to to keep that environment that I'm your, your keeper. And if you have this big bodacious idea, I'm not going to be the one to say, oh, you can't do that. That's because we understand that. Um that's a reflection of my mini, my small thinking. Right. If I can't see your big vision, that's just because I got small vision. So you never minimize <laughs> what someone else does. You know how many people didn't see my sisterhood vision? Wow. But here we are five years. You know how many people thought we wouldn't make it one year? But here we are rising countries. So wow. we never allow the vision or the thoughts of other people dictate what we do because it's not their thoughts of us that matter. It's the thoughts of ourselves that matter. Absolutely. And speaking of rising countries, you just, Kenya, talk about <laughs> the rise of Kenya. Come on, Kenya. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is made possible through the power of unity and these amazing women that are part of the sisterhood. Wow. The amazing women. We have um, Conductor Cordorso. Um, we have um, Conductor Barbara. We have Foreign Missions Committee. Um, we have amazing women within the sisterhood who grabbed a hold of the vision. And they worked it and let God do what he does. Wow. And so it's because of these amazing women that grab a hold of the vision that we were able to raise our new country, Kenya, today. So if I look like I'm a little drained, that's probably because I cried my tears out, <laughs> my head out, my brain out. <laughs> I was I was laid prostate on the floor after the induction and just sobbing because wow. my heart was overflowing because I was like, God, you would take this girl from the hood. Come on. You would take this girl that was nothing. You would take this girl that thought that she wasn't worth anything. You would take this fighter. You would take this one that got dropped off on the corner. You would take this one that was in a teenage shelter and say, that's the one that I will use. I will use that vision and put it in her. And so I was just, and it's not that, it's not by my power, but it's by his power and the ability to, have an amazing women around me. I I wouldn't have been able to attract yes. these amazing women's women had it not been from God. But just to see Pashan, and I'm still gonna get emotional. It's all right. It's all right. Just to see not only the vision be fulfilled, but to see it in my own two eyes while I live and breathe. Yes. For yes. to go international. And not just one country, because we did Dominican Republic and we we've done that. But now to reach Kenya. Wow. And the theme of our fifth year anniversary is breaking the barriers between women by the power of unity. Yes. So the title we made breaking barriers between women by the power of unity. We had no idea that we at that time that we literally would be raising the country of Kenya. But as I begin to tell the story of us here in the United States of women of color and our ancestors being slaves, I began to break down because I realized I was talking to women from the mother country. Yes. And here we are in the United States. And I said, God, look at you building those bridges 
yeah, mending those and breaking down those barriers amongst women, and not, and if that wasn't a breaking down of a barrier, that's it huge. is sisterhood. So now we go back to being sisters. <laughs> yes. Oh my! God. Come on, God, He's amazing, and no one yeah. can do it like He can. No, 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 no. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. And this is who I'm talking about, just so you all can see. This is Malik Yoba. He will be there. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And this is what we're talking about right here. She is celebrating the Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood this Friday, April 22nd, at 6 p.m. for all of you VIP people. Get in there, 6 p.m. It's going to be awesome. And then 7 p.m., it's open uh, to the general public. Uh, Malik Yoba, of course, will be there. Leandria Johnson yes. and Jimmy Saul will be there. Breaking barriers between women through the power of unity. Okay, if you go to Women in Ministry on the Move on the Facebook page, you'll see the flyer. Click on it. You have the address. You have the website. And they can still get tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, general. VIP is yeah. sold out. Mm-hmm. VIP sold out, y'all. Yeah, Next, we're almost sold out right now. So I know yeah, yeah. the general tickets, guys. Okay. Yeah. And so Leandria is gonna y'all know God gonna use her. <laughs> y'all know. Y'all listen, y'all need to bring extra tissue in your purse. <laughs> it's just I just it's just gonna be an explosion. I feel the anticipation, the excitement, the expectation. You know, the celebration uh, to give God the glory for what he has done, what he's doing and what he will do through Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood. Yeah. Let me see. Let me, let me. <laughs> they say congratulations. And let me say this. If you see, let me put this up here because someone put the, uh, yes, mmsisterhood.com. Okay. So when you see Facebook user, if you all, uh, to everybody that's watching, to the listeners, if you download StreamYard.com, when you make a comment, we'll be able to see you. We'll see your picture and we'll see your name so we can shout you out and acknowledge you. That's all it is for, to acknowledge you. And, and, and so uh, Dr. Roberta can see her team, her sisters. And know who it is. Also, if you want to know more about the event, the gala, you can go MMS Gala 2022 Eventbrite.com. Go to this website again, click on the flyer on my page, and uh, you'll see, or go to Dr. Roberta's page. Okay, let me put that up there. And it, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram, Roberta Halski, and just on, it's the same, Roberta Housky on Facebook and IG, yeah. and you'll see everything. You'll see the rise of Kenya. I'm telling you, them women were on fire. <laughs> yeah. I love the all white. They yes. were Oh my God. Yeah. I just love this like no holes barred, no barriers. Mm -mm. They were ready. And see, they were ready. Listen, when I was in Germany, and we would visit, uh, like my pastor at the time. Hey, Dr. Charles Johnson, at the time in Germany, he would um, preach at an African church. He would get an invitation. He would go preach there. Let me tell you something. They praise God differently than we do. Ooh, let me tell you. They go into spirit. And if you were in that induction, a lot of millionaire mindset sisters were um, were at the rise of China. Uh, I'm not China. Who am speaking at? The rise of Kenya. Um, so I did let little snippets leak to Facebook just for the record. <laughs> As you see, you don't see the whole induction because yeah. that's still private, but for the record, it yeah. will rise. And so if you yeah. were there, you saw the anointing of God in, in, in that virtual, I mean, virtual ceremony. Those women were praising God, going into glory. Yeah. I was like, Lord, you know what? He's he's amazing. They and they got a whole. They, yeah, they're serious about their God. They're serious about their sisterhood now. They were yeah. like they were like chieftain. They call me chieftain, and it's just, they're like chieftain. I heard that. Dude, Kenya, we're gonna do Kenya. So that's like oh. <laughs> just a whole wreck. <laughs> and and their their level of I just their level of faith, but childlike faith mm. where they believe. God and what he says. And that just, you know, just brought me to tears, you know, because I think about when my children were little, 
if when they came to me and did like this, mm -hmm. they automatically knew, okay, mommy's going to pick me up. Daddy's going to pick me up. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I felt when I was looking at it. I said, they just, there's no doubt, mm -hmm. you know, and earlier, like you were saying with the tower of Babel mm -hmm. in comparison, how they were unified mm -hmm. and God himself said, Hey, we're going to have to go down here Mm -hmm. And think about this because they're going to be basically unstoppable, you Absolutely. know, whatever they put their mind to, uh, because they are so unified, they're on one accord. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so that's what I saw here. I said, yes. these women are on one accord, they're on fire, they have unity. It's like strong, like wow. Wait, wait. Um, we can see the crossover of the United States, the sisters that's coming over, we ready. <laughs> they, we cross over the United States crossover on Friday. Today was Kenya, but the United States crossover on Friday, and we ready. <laughs> you guys are ready, man. I mean, you are ready. Let me show y'all one more again. This is what she's talking about: the millionaire mindset gala celebrating five years of sisterhood. She said it. She's the chieftain and founder, Dr. Rebecca. Hauske. Come on. Breaking barriers between women uniting uh, between women through the power of unity. Also, keep in mind, go to the website. Let me put it up here again, because if you're interested in creating generational wealth, breaking the poverty curse, I know I am. And, and spreading generational wealth from generation to generation, from to your children, to your children's children, and so on. Mm -hmm. That is it. And I, I, I do want to point out, you said baby boomers is the first generation <laughs> to produce a generation worse than them. Absolutely. And, you know, I threw that out there and I just, you know, I asked Malik, what did he think about it? He had a very good perception and thought process on it. But it's, it is, uh, it is, it was in USA Today that the baby boomers and 400 years of Africans being in America is the first generation to produce another generation that did worse off than them. And you can attribute it to a, non, a lot of things. I love what Malik said about social media and, and distractions. Distractions. And distractions is huge. You also can um, look at it because the generation before them were at their height. Home yeah. ownership was at the height, the generation before the baby boomers. And then it, you know, sometimes we get comfortable and sometimes we get complacent and we think we arrive when we don't, when we have so much more work to do. And so um, I, within our sister who we're intentional about making sure that the next generation is better than us. We can't have, a, not on our watch, can our children be worse than often us they will not repeat our poverty. My daughter, I had a conversation with my daughter today. Wow. She's she's in training. She, she runs my business right now, my real estate company, my little baby. And she's in school and college right now. She is amazing. And for years, I had to keep her in hiding. But she wow. is better than me. She is more powerful than me. And she is, she's still 21. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, so you make your children better, but yeah, yes. that's that statistic. The other statistic was that was mind blowing is that they said that the wealth gap that we talk about with African American people, mm -hmm. that it is estimated to close, I think it's 260 years, if ever, if ever, but the gap with Hispanic families were closing 89 years. And so we're like, what do you attribute it to? And what they attributed to was single family households. Mm. Because we look at Hispanic communities and you'll see mother, father, cousin, uncle, yeah. all of them together. Yes. That's the power of unity. Yes. And we looking at it and we're struggling with your single mother household. So how do you get ahead? And then as soon as your kids are 18, it's time for them to get out when they're not ready yet. Come on! Poverty will produce itself. Poverty will repeat itself. And if we're not intentional about creating generational wealth and breaking this poverty curse, by default, your poverty will repeat itself. Do nothing and watch poverty repeat itself. Do nothing and watch struggle repeat itself. So we at the Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood are super intentional. We yes. understand that it's up to us to, to break poverty over our bloodline. Yes, come on. Over our bloodline. 
Jesus. And everyone that come after me and everyone that comes after my sister will be better because we decided to be intentional about what we do. And we understand there's power in unity and power in collaboration. There's no one successful on the island. There's no one that has broken poverty. There's no one that has been wealthy. No one successful that has done it alone. So right. the enemy fights our mind, especially women. This is why the unity of us is fought so hard, but that's why we're doing what we're doing in a sisterhood. It's fought so hard because if you can become isolated, then your power can diminish. Right. If you become isolated, then you your thought process can become diminished. Why do you think depression only manifests in isolation? Come on. So come on. So it, it, you have to be unified. You have to be able to tap in. You, you have to be able to tap into that energy and, and the energy of like-minded people, but you got to be in the right energy. Yeah. I told one of my a good friends who um, I hadn't seen in a while and she was going through some things. Mm -hmm. She called me and we ended up chatting and something. I told, gave her some ideas and said, listen, you got to make a conversation. Let's have a conversation and gave her a qu quick little tweets and things started coming. I was like, oh, you just need to get tapped into that energy for it to come right. And that's the truth though. Energy is contagious. You can feel my energy and I'm in a whole different state. That's right. It's contagious. It is. It's contagious. So, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> I'm in purpose and I'm on purpose, 110%. That's right. Okay. And, and, and my pastor, Apostle McGee, he said, we got work to do in mm -hmm. 2022. Mm -hmm. That, listen, that is so, we're in April. And I'm like, man, we just said Happy New Year like, <laughs> next yep. week. Yeah. And we're in April. We got work to do. We don't have time. Like you said, we don't have time to do nothing. Mm -hmm. We don't have time. And I was telling my son, he, he has some ideas about coding and gaming. And he mm -hmm. said, well, when I get older, I said, no, you're going to do it now. Mm -hmm. when, you don't have to wait until you get older. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, mom... I want to own a house. I said, that's exactly what you should be saying, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because when you know better, you do better. And I, you know, me and my husband, were always talking to our children, always in their face so they can understand. We want them to be, and my husband says it, and I love it. I want you to be better than me. Yeah. You know, that's how dare exactly. we not leave anything to my children? That's powerful. Powerful. You know, and and to hear for his kids to hear him say that they're going to continue that. Absolutely. And so that's that's powerful. I just love it. The sisterhood, <laughs> sisterhood.com. If you want to join, please join. I don't see why you wouldn't. mmsisterhood.com. Go on there and sign up so you can create generational wealth for your family. We are talking to the powerful, the phenomenal Dr. Roberta. <laughs> Kowski on creating generational wealth and unifying. And it's so important that women are unified because we're so busy being catty and competing and comparing. You, listen, you can't, no one can compete because we all have our own gifts. We all have our own assignments and purpose that we're created for. So if you're, if you're competing with somebody else, that person has just become your God because now your focus is on them. Because you got to keep trying to one up them. No, focus and ask God what He wants you to do, and mm -hmm. get at it, and get busy about it, and 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 stay in prayer, and get the strategies for how God wants you to create. And that's what I love that you have done. Mm -hmm. And I also want to tell you guys, please get her book. Go to Amazon. Poverty Curse Broken is an inspiring true story. True story. It's gonna be a movie. Tyler Perry. Okay. Tyler Perry. Shout out to Tyler. <laughs> Of hope, Oprah. Okay. Oh, of hope okay. and beating the odds is Roberta's memoir that confirms that nothing is impossible with God. Of course, Roberta has it made made it her life mission. She's made it her life mission to help us to help as many people as she can to break the poverty curse, live in their divine purpose, and create multiple streams of income. And I remember you said seven. Mm -hmm. Seven streams of income. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. That's awesome. So thank you again, Dr. Roberta. Let me put, I want people to know this Friday, mm -hmm. April 22nd, yeah. 
Come on. If you got VIP tickets, the doors are open for you at 6 p.m. They're sold out. Yeah. Uh, you can catch the next one. <laughs> catch it next year. They're sold out for VIP. But the, if you have the tickets, 6 p.m., general public, you can still get tickets. They're almost sold out. And look, they're selling out fast. OK, so get the information. Um, doors open at 7 p.m. Leandria Johnson is going to be there. Malik, Yova, and Jimmy Soul. Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. <laughs> okay, it's going to be an awesome time. And I know, time. I know we're going to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm going to be looking on your page and everything. I missed the VIP tickets, but I'm going to catch it because yeah. you know what? I'm going to. I'm yeah. going to we'll check it out. And awesome. see what we can do, and then because I want to pass that on, uh, yeah. let me let me say this. My friend Benny, um, he said he was so excited to buy his first home, and he said uh, he knew a Jewish man, and he said the man said to him, "Okay, after you buy your home, then what?" He said, yeah. "Pay it off." Okay, after you pay it off, then what? And he said, "Well, I'm gonna have a home." He said, "And basically, that's all you're going to have." He said, "Why don't you buy a two flat?" live on this side and rent out this side. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Phew. he said, they think generational well. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me in my life though. So you'll see that. He owns buildings now mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, to share that little golden nugget with me, with someone who already was thinking, hey, you know, when I was a teenager in Chicago, I like that apartment building and my mother, we need to have our own two flat apartment building. So why wouldn't I look at sisterhood? Do you understand? This is exactly what you're talking about. But go ahead. You said that happened to you. Yeah, no, that's that's my life. I, my first property was a multifamily four unit. Um, wow. Yielded me three hundred thirty seven thousand dollars. And that's mm -hmm. and it's in it's in the book. You, you would read it and it changed my life. But um, I want us to also I want to shift the mindset of the listeners a little bit. Yes. Um, it's easy for us to imagine a two family, a four family on an apartment building, but I want you to go outside and look at the skyline. That's correct. And I want you to look at those commercial buildings. I want you to look at those bank buildings and I want you to know that there is a person who owns it and that person might as well be you. I want you to understand that everything that you see with your mind was, was established two times with your eyes has been established two times, first in the imagination and then in the real world. People need to become more creative yeah. with, with, with what we do. There is nothing that is impossible. When you look outside, when I'm riding, when I'm in the airplanes, I'm like, wow, look at that building. Look, if somebody owns that, somebody owns that. They're no different than you. They bleed like you. They breathe the, the same air like you. They're, they're in the same world like you. Yeah. They, they got washed their butt like you. They got brushed their teeth like you. There is no difference except um, the mindset to do it and the will to do it. Mm. The mindset and the will. See, many, the problem is, and I know we on this, but you you know I'm on, I'm about, I just finished raising Kenya, so you know I'm on a whole nother level. And about to raise the United States, so I'm on a whole nother mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. You have to be with me a little bit because I'm a little bit <laughs> busting at the out. <laughs> out. <laughs> but but, but we, we have to really understand that the only limits that really exist in the world are the limits that we put on ourselves. And we constantly minimize what we can do because we like to work within this broke place called comfortable. Mm. This broke place called comfortable. If you become comfortable, you will forever be broke. Wow. Because you will never expand in a comfort zone. Mm. You only you become uncomfortable. The problem is, is that us in our poverty mindset we don't like uncomfortable, so we run back to Mr. Familiar when Mr. Familiar ain't did us no good. We got to go to a place of being uncomfortable, and we have to get to the state where uncomfortable is comfortable, and that's the place that we need to be. We need to be at a state when we become comfortable, we like, oh, no, this don't feel good. I need to stretch. Yes. I need to stretch. I need to see what God has for me next. I need to see how great I could possibly become. I need to see what impact I can possibly create. How far can I possibly go? How many generations can what I do today affect? Wow. That's the mindset that I live and breathe on. 
Mm. My, when God is done with me, the world will know my name. Not because I was selfless, because I was selfless. Yes. There is a difference, but I'm yes. intentional about that thing. I'm intentional. There's nothing impossible. People say it with a cliche, and then they got this other little part of our head started talking about why you discounting who you are. Last time I checked, we were all made in God's image. So don't right. go hating on people who are doing great. That's right. Don't go hate on people because you think they don't deserve it. As a man think if so is you, it's, it's he. So if you don't like the fruit that you're bearing, you the tree. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one stay. On that one. I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm in a whole nother round right now. I'm gonna stay on that one. I love it. Come on. I love it. I love it. She said, You the tree. You know, I love it. I love that scripture where Jesus said, According to your faith, according to, unto faith. you, yeah. not anybody else's, according yeah. to your faith. And that's what he would say to me, According to yeah. your faith. Yeah. Hey, that's a wrap. I don't have nothing. Come on, get your tree. <laughs> get your tree together. <laughs> it's all in love. It's all in love. It's all in love. On fire. Oh my God. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. I God hope, hopefully, I hopefully some of those words have helped to um, get people to think how powerful yeah. they really are. You cannot fix what you don't see. That's, That's what my job is to help to illuminate so you can see things. And be aware of how amazing you are, how powerful you are, how wonderfully made you are, how unique you are, how precious you are. And so I'm going I'm to let that go. And I'm going to let, I'm going to, I'm going to. I hear yeah. you saying this, and again, you're going to die empty. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, but I'm multiplying. So even when I'm gone, I'll be multiplying. That's right. And this sisterhood will continue to live outside me. It's built to last at least 100 years. So just as you see so sororities, um, 1909 and all these other sororities that were built and they never seen their founders, what you see is the rise of the 21st century sisterhood and you are looking at the chieftain and founder of it. And I promise you that it will continue to multiply a hundred and plus years from now. I know what I am and I know my purpose. Yes. And so God is that good and that great that he would allow me to be able to take a look and glimpse in the future and plan for it right now in 2022. Woo! Look at God. He's That's amazing. God. He's amazing. And mm -hmm. he's doing it. I'm speaking with no one other than Dr. Roberta Halski. Let me put this back up here. Listen, y'all can go right to her IG and Facebook page. I'm telling you, go there. Look at the videos. Look at the interviews. Look at the rise of Kenya. <laughs> I said they were on fire. Mm. And they're going to take Kenya by storm and hallelujah 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 nothing that they will not be able to do mm -hmm. i praise god for this i look forward to your script being picked up immediately i look forward to whoever gonna play it viola davis angela bassett who you whoever, <laughs> you know I'm calling gabby gabby come on gab come play me <laughs> <laughs> Make me look fabulous. <laughs> you know, so amen. Just, you know, you and Tanya, just Pashan, we're auditions over here. And I'm, I'm on the plane. <laughs> Praise God. So congratulations on everything. Okay, I want you guys to see it again. Uh, if you want tickets, please go ahead and go to, let me put up the other one because they can see it better. Yes, mmsgala2022.eventbrite.com. It's all there. This Friday, 6 p.m. for VIP, general public, 7 p.m. It is going to be amazing. Millionaire Mindset Gala celebrating five years of sisterhood, breaking barriers between women through the power of unity. Thank you so much, Dr. Roberta Housky. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for going through the process and saying yes and giving God an eternal yes. And because he can trust you, he's going to keep pouring into you. So thank God for you. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. And stand by. Thank you. You've been listening to Women in Ministry on the Move. I'm just blown. Listen, I'm done. I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so full. I'm so excited. You know, I'm going to go back and listen to this interview 
just to hear what she's saying. And if I were you, I would do the same. Let God bless you through the words. And please go on Amazon like I did and get your book, Poverty Curse Broken, the Roberta Housky story. That's what I did. I want them to see it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I just, I love it. So thank you so much. And I'm going to tag you, Dr. Roberta. Uh, you. A, and I, I showed Dr. Uh, Tanya E. There's a friend of mine. I said, oh my gosh, they look like sisters. <laughs> wow, they really do favor. And then uh, Rashika, she said, we do. She's gorgeous. I was going to say, I was going to say, she must be cute there. <laughs> She, I like her, but that's my that's my twin over there. <laughs> they said, "Wow, they look really alike." Oh my gosh! So, Amen. Stand by. Thank you so much. We'll be right back next week. We'll talk to you soon. Stand by. Mm -hmm.